What up everyone? Welcome to BMG. It's your boy Brown Mamba. Hope you guys are doing good. So in this week I got some Black Ops 3 gameplay for you guys. I want to make a quick tips and tricks video. Um, if you notice right here, I was the first one loaded before anyone else and that's how I got to A before anyone else and that's because I installed an SSD drive into my Xbox One and honestly, it's improved my load times by so much, it's not even funny. Like even the little things like that, like how I loaded on the map so much quicker than any of the other players are playing online. But yeah, I wanted to make a quick tips and tricks video and uh, I think the most important tip I could give anyone is whenever you play any game online, always play from the side. Like if you notice, right away I was running along the side, I didn't go through the middle. I went to the sides and I cleaned up. Like you can see right here, the first few kills, I think I killed everyone on this team. And, and all I did was just run to the side. Like look, I just destroyed this whole team basically by myself. And uh, yeah, it, it works every time. Like if you, as long as you play from the sides and work yourself either behind them or to the side of them and watch them run to the middle like I just did, it works. Another good tip is always capture the flags. Don't be that guy that just runs away from the flags, doesn't even bother capturing them. Cause you know what? Kills matter and a lot of people love kills and that's good, but you want to win the game as well And you want to help your team win the game too So if you get the chance like I just did there just capture a or capture whatever one is empty Right and it helps you because look like it brings me closer to my score streaks Another thing I do want to mention these score streaks I use in this game aren't the ones that I would normally lose uh, use sorry um, uh, Because I just haven't unlocked the ones that I would normally use because I, I prestiged and so I gotta wait now until I unlock all the ones I want to use. But the Talon is one of the ones I'll use and Raps I'll, I'll definitely use as well. I actually get Raps in this game too. But yeah, like I said, I play on I play from the sides. I'll, I'll work my way to the sides, to the back of their spawn and then and then sometimes I'll go through the middle or I'll keep circling the whole map until I see people running around. See right here, I just went right to the middle um, because I went all the way behind them and I knew they were capturing B so it made sense for me to, you know, go down the middle of that time. And once again, contribute to the team. You, I knew they took B, so I went straight to B, and I got two kills with it, and I got bonus points because I was capturing at the same time. So, you know, if the opportunity is there to kind of help your team win the game, you gotta jump on it, you gotta take it, and you might die, but at the end of the day, if you die a few times, it's okay, because it's for the better cause, right? And you see here, once once again, I, I work my way to the sides. Like, it's it's... The best way to play and I know I'm repeating myself many times but trust me if you guys start doing this and put this into like your your style of play it'll help because everyone has their own style of play and this is mine and a lot of pro players do this too I've noticed and um, they do good. Patience is another thing you got to be patient too you don't just rush into something because then you'll die a lot and I used to be not patient too and I used to rush into every gunfight and and I, I die a lot, but now I'm starting to die a lot less. Like, I think this whole gameplay, like, I think I went like 43 and 9 or something like that. And that was because I wasn't rushing, I was being patient every time. Another good tip is to always use your score streaks right away. Even, like, right now, like, a second after started, and I'm already trying to get my score streaks that I've unlocked from, from the last, uh, from the first half, I guess. Um, yeah, like, right away, like, I noticed they were taking B, and boom, I, I got, like, you know, two or three kills from the hellstorm i never use a hellstorm i'm not a big fan of the hellstorm i'd rather use the wrath or maybe the g1 unit but since that's all i have in lock that's what i did and see once again like i was i started from the sides and i got two kills right away and i got my wraps now too so that should help a lot always always play from the sides and work your way to the middle or to the back of their spawn it always works And if you notice here, like I heard the guy saying they're taking C, so you gotta be aware of, you know, what the opponents are doing. So they just took C, so obviously I'm gonna go from the sides and run towards them. And at this point, I figured they probably went down the middle to get B, and I was right. And there's two guys right here trying to get B, and I was able to um, pick them off. See, once again, even that, that girl was trying to get B too, and I was able to pick, pick her or him off. See right here, I try to go through the middle and I died. Like it's the best way is to go to the sides. And I know I've said this so many times, but like that's proof right there. Like I went through the middle and I died. Like it's so much better just to work your way from the sides and only go to the middle if you know that they're going to the middle. Like if you saw like a couple of kills ago, um, I got, I, w I went to C and it was too late because they already captured C and they obviously went to go get B. And that's when I went down the middle and I was able to get two or three extra kills like that. And that's it guys, I just wanted to Make a quick video, just give you two or three tips about what I do and how I, you know, get low kill, uh, sorry, low deaths and high kills. 
and that's the main reason basically I, I'll play around the sides I'm very patient and you know I capture the flags oh sorry yeah I capture the flag so I could get you know my score streaks a lot quicker and score streaks do get you kills like it's honestly like raps get me so many kills and that the talent protects me whenever I'm running around or going gung-ho and running straight into the middle one now the talent gets me those one or two kills for me and it's so much easier for even with the talent when I'm not facing a, uh, an opponent it'll kill me for me if I don't if I don't see it and yeah like right right there I went 43 and 43 and 9 and and we won too right so that's another good thing you win you get your kills your ratio looks good and and that's it I know it's a quick video it's not really too much in depth of you know tips and tricks like some of the videos online but I know a few people have messaged me and asked me how I get my kill and keep my deaths low and this is a few tips I guess I, I just gave you guys and I'll make more videos showing a little bit more tips and tricks and it'll be a little bit more detailed but I did want to release a quick video for you guys I hope you guys enjoyed it please watch my other videos press the like button leave a comment and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one peace